Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to use the Divi Supreme modules and create a nice little video pop-up. Just like that. Make sure the video is going to play. Fantastic. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to need to do, let's go to our dashboard. Once you've got Divi Supreme installed, it'll pop up here. Just click on it. And let's go to our general settings and you want to make sure you've got enable Divi pop up switch to on like this. Once it is hit the save changes and we're good to go. So let's enable our visual builder on the page. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I've got a row with three columns here. I'm just going to simply put in a blurb module in this one. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules, plenty enough to get you going with just about any sort of site. And Supreme modules adds another 40 of these darker blue purpley ones. But today I'm just going to use a simple blurb module from Divi. There it is right there. I'm going to say check out our video. And I'll leave that there because I haven't got anything to say about it. And then I'm going to use an icon rather than an image this time. So I'm going to hit the use icon button. Let's move this out of the way so you can see what's going on. Now let's find either a play icon or a YouTube type video icon. I think they've got a YouTube down at the bottom here. There we go right there. Great. Now because we've got this switched on now, we can go to the advanced section in our module here, go down to visibility, and you'll see a switch now that says use pop-up. Exactly what I wanted to do. Now pop-up type, you can have an iframe, image, or a video. Video is what we want today. Now you simply need to paste the Vimeo or YouTube video URL in there. Let me just grab one quickly from YouTube. Now what do we want to trigger it on? Trigger it. So uh, module click. Yeah, if they click anywhere on here, it will play the video. Or you could do it on a button, image, hyperlink, page load, scroll, or exit intent. Now these are really useful, we'll be covering those at a later date. I'm going to leave it on module for the moment. Close triggers fine. Don't want to auto close the pop the pop up. You can choose to if you want to. If you switch that on, you can choose how many seconds before it just automatically closes. We'll be using that in other pop ups later on. That's a great feature. Entrance animation simple one is fade in you've got all kind of different ones here you can use i'll just put it on bounce for a demonstration same with the exit you can choose all kind of different ones pop-up position center which is pretty normal position type absolute we want it to be in the same place whether they're scrolling up and down the page or not full width i'm going to leave that off so it appears more like a pop-up Max width of 680 is fine. That'll work on most mobile devices. You can choose different sizes for desktop, tablet, and phone if you prefer. But for me, 680 is going to work absolutely perfectly. And a lot of these features, you can't demo this while you're actually in the builder. Once we get out of the builder and it's saved, it'll all work perfectly. You've got an overlay which will be behind the pop-up. Choose background colors. Show the close button or not. Where to put the close button. Icon font size for the close. By default it chooses an X view which most works for most applications. If not you've got all these elegant icons you can choose from. Close button background color and icon color you can choose here. So we're good to go. So let's just save that. Let's go down and save our page changes. And let's exit the Visual Builder. 
Now let's go down. And we were here. And as you can see when I roll over it, it's got the hand icon, which notifies you that it can be clicked on anywhere on this module. Simply left click. And there's our video. Fantastic, as easy as that. That's a great little feature to have on your site. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.